The Duchess of Sussex picked the easiest possible interview with an appearance on Jimmy Fallon, it has been claimed. Meghan Markle was due to appear on NBC's Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon in September to promote her Spotify podcast archetypes. But this was postponed due to the death of Queen Elizabeth in September. The channel then went on to announce Meghan would be appearing on the show on December 7. Despite this since being revealed as inaccurate, Meghan has been questioned about choosing the talk show. Nine News presenter Carl Stefanovic said, Meghan Markle is about to complete the talk show trifecta. First, it was Oprah, bombshell after bombshell, then Ellen, where she tried to make herself relevant and now she's locked in an appearance on Jimmy Fallon's Tonight Show. Entertainment reporter Sam Rubin added, Obviously she's going for the easiest possible appearance. Jimmy Fallon, it's all marshmallows and not a difficult question. She will be given the questions in advance. It won't be a substantial conversation. The Duchess podcast series focuses on exploring derogatory labels women are faced whilst also offering insights into the royal's life. In the latest episode, Meghan revealed that her mother still calls her flower. Meghan was in conversation with actress Michaela J. Rodriguez on her Spotify podcast when the pair discussed nicknames. Tuesday's episode, which also features Sex and the City creator Candace Bushnell, is the penultimate in the Archetypes series. Introducing the podcast, the Duchess said, and today we're talking about living outside of the box, the box that we've talked about all season on this podcast, the different boxes that we try to get pushed inside of. What is it like when you live beyond those lines? When you color outside of them, freely expressing our identities, and embracing the nuances that make us quite simply a human being. The episode, entitled Beyond the Archetype, Human, Being, begins with Megan making a surprise visit to the Immaculate Heart All, Girls Catholic School in Los Angeles, where she was a pupil from the age of 12 until 17. She said those are really formative years, adding, they certainly were for me. And let me just say, being back there, the energy, it was. It was palpable. I was happy to be back there and it was also really fun, especially when I made a surprise visit and I popped into some of the young ladies in volleyball practice. Later, in her chat with Post star Rodriguez, Megan revealed that her mother, Doria Ragland, still refers to her by a nickname. My mom still calls me Flower, she said, adding, it'll be a 41, year, old flower. That's fine. During the episode, Megan described the characters in Sex and the City, Carrie, Samantha, Miranda and Charlotte, as iconic. She said Bushnell's writing still holds up today, adding, it still feels boundless today. And in her recent novel in one, woman's show is there still Sex and the City. She continues to peel back the layers of what women can be in all stages of life.